Hey everybody! Where's your head at? And I'm not gonna keep doing that, but Basement Jacks, that's a band. A group, I guess. We're gonna do a daily challenge today. Uh, I think I was like a little bit mentally out of it yesterday. Luke, did you change your avatar? That doesn't look like the normal Luke avatar. We ended up coming second on our friends list, but uh, I watched my friend Corey, who uh, actually streams the dailies every night at like 10 p.m. PST at twitch.tv slash flackblag. Do I have that? Yeah, I think it's yes. Twitch.tv slash flackblag. He was like 15th on Greedbutt, and I watched him play, and I'm like, man, I made some terrible, terrible mistakes there. He also didn't give up Mega, and he still got down to Shoal, and then used the self-sacrifice room to get to the dark room. So I was very impressed. Um, I'm going to try to play better today. I'm feeling in like a less silly mental state, which I think is good. Obviously, we're playing as a Zazel. Got an Algiz rune. Uh, it's probably advantageous to use the Algiz rune on boss rush, even though we will take a little bit of damage here. Um, Corey was also being coached by another guy. Big Bad Wolf, who was third on Greed greed Butt, not Green Butt. That's something you got to talk to a doctor there. So, you know, I, I feel like I've, I've played okay on dailies recently, but I've realized that I also have much to learn, and uh, that was terrible damage in particular. But uh, much to learn and uh, much to practice as well. But, you know, I want to be there. I want to be uh, the very best like no one ever was. Statistically, that's very unlikely. There's a lot of good players out there, but we could at least be, like, um, among the top... Two or three percent, I think. I think we, that's like not my ceiling, ceiling, because I think it's possible that we could, you know, w with enough practice, actually be, you know, top one percent or something like that. But I think it's a realistic kind of like jumping off point for us to start with here. Um, I will take uh, my reflection right now for the record. Wow, my reflection is like a huge damage up or range upgrade, man. I had no idea. It does cause our laser to bend in a way that makes my PP feel funny, but. Uh, Apart from that, we're still uh, pretty good here. Secret rooms, man. They always freak me out. That's not a secret room. Where the where the heck is our secret room going to be? Right here? Secret rooms have just stopped showing up, apparently. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Pretty much a huge waste of two bombs. Um, yeah, it's, it's a very weird item. I don't really know how to feel about it right now. I think it's great if you're shooting straight. If you're not shooting straight, it might be a little annoying. Cracker Jacks. Yeah, HP plus Butt Penny. I'll, I'll pick up Butt Penny, but it's not very good. In fact, it's quite bad, in my opinion. But is it bad because it's bad, or is it bad because it's useless? If it's bad because it's useless, that's just, that's fine by us, you know? This is uh, already a fun daily for me because I've learned something new. I had no idea that my reflection uh, synergizes so nicely with Azazel. I really didn't. Unfortunately, we have no access to our uh, item room. Being able to pick up Guppy's tail is very good, though, and of course, you will be able to take at least one deal with the devil, provided there is a deal that actually uh, costs us HP, because we can uh, just give up our red heart. And as a Zazel, we wouldn't expect that that would be too much of a problem. Burning Basement can be annoying, but, I mean, we are also a Zazel. Uh, it's another item that I think is actually pretty okay. The virus... Not as good as it used to be in Vanilla Binding of Isaac, of course, uh, but uh, still holding it down for spun. If you get permanent Polaroid Invincibility, you can at least do some extra damage to an enemy at the cost of, you know, cannibalizing some other tier effects, but for the most part, I'm pretty for it. Especially this early. Also synergizes nicely with other syringes, which are extremely common items to get, so... Uh, if we get, like, an experimental treatment or a speedball or a growth hormones or a road rage, we're gonna be excited about that. Uh, ideal... Spacebar item for us might be something like Satanic Bible. There's a lot of battery charges we've seen on the run so far. There's at least one extra one on this floor. It works well for us into the late game. Um, there, there's lots of good stuff to be had there. But I realize the irony in that I, I said that I would want that on our last run as well. And then ended up not taking... Uh, or I, I at least ended up saying I wanted a defensive item. And then ended up not taking Satanic Bible on our last run. We paid a key for Fate. Uh, I think it's actually completely acceptable. Let's see if this is our secret room. Um, we get, we basically paid a key for HP. I don't think it's bad. I think it's actually very, very good. Uh, if, imagine if there was a shop, a consistent shop offering that was like five cents for an eternal heart. That would be like a high priority pickup, so I think we are probably feeling pretty good about this, and Larry Jr. just never stood a chance. We also picked up a ton of money there. We did get experimental treatment. How unusual. And we do have the option for Satanic Bible, but first I'm going to take Abaddon for sure. Then we'll take Satanic Bible. Um, it's very strange that that showed up right after I suggested it might, but I, I promise you I have no, uh, 
inclination about what's happening on the daily. Just a uh, good luck, I guess. I think I'm going to open this instead of going to the shop. Got a luck upgrade. Um, was there anything else we wanted? Oh, we wanted the battery charge that was back here, of course. So this is an incredibly strong run right off the bat. Now our number one priority absolutely becomes finding a way to get past uh, the Isaac fight. Because as of right now, uh, this is... I mean, the only thing that holds us back... Yeah, I mean, it might be better. The only thing that holds us back on this run right now is the fact that uh, we are going to be stopped on the Cathedral. And I would really like to take it uh, all the way to the Dark Room if possible. More Curse Rooms and get some pills. We get some pills. Let's try. Infested. Lemon Party. Explosive diarrhea. So far, these are situationally good pills. And bad gas. Uh, that's not that bad, honestly. That's As far as pills go, we have some information that actually could be used to help us in the future. So, Ideally, we don't... That looks like a secret room to me, by the way. But ideally, we don't want to teleport to the dark room until... We didn't have to go in there like that. We probably could have placed a bomb. But ideally, we don't want to go to the dark room until we've already done... At least Hush. I mean, Boss Rush as well, but Hush too. So, we're really hoping to find a self-sacrifice room on the Cathedral. But it's kind of like... You're, you're pushing it a little bit, I think, if you try that. So, I guess if we found... Whoa, lucky us. I guess if we found one, uh, even... After... The Boss Rush, I'd probably be for it. I'd probably at least give it, you know, a... Give it the time of day, let's put it that way. But, you know, we'll deal with that when it when it happens. For now, we know that the right decision for us is, at least for the next few floors, don't sweat, uh... Don't sweat, uh, self-sacrifice rooms. If they happen, they happen. If they don't, whatever. Friends till the end. Only recently re-added into the game, apparently. That's not a good use of Lemon Party. People acted like I was an idiot, by the way. They're like, wow, NL, of course, has been forever since you have, you've seen Friends Till the End. They took it out of the game until the most recent patch. And I was like, dude, how am I supposed to... You think I'm in the .i and I files getting my hands dirty on a daily basis? Those wouldn't even be contained in the .i and I, and I files, I'm realizing now and feel somewhat stupid. But hey, um, we're going to go back for this battery charge now. We might as well just have it fully charged. Fully torqued. Broken stopwatch is okay, but I think we want to save our money instead. We may want to go back and buy a key. That seems very sensible. We want to be out of this floor by 10 minutes, so... Actually, let's do our backtracking now. Um, I think it's I think it's advisable. 48-hour energy. Dang, son. This is pretty good. Um, well, let's, let's fight the boss, then we'll do our backtracking. I definitely want the key. I think that much is, is fairly easy to understand why. That was horrible damage. There's no reason for me to be in that close. Got our bomb back, at least. And, uh... Oh, we just got a key. I may still buy one. We could, you know, investing in yourself is the best investment you can make. We got here dark one. Oh, almost bad damage. Like, I think at this point, this daily is so good that we have to just basically not take damage if we want to, uh... If we want to rank well. And then if we can find the seam to push it a little further, that would be ideal, too. So, Book of Secrets allowed us to see what was going on in here. Unfortunately, we will have to push the, uh... Well, well done. We will have to push the chest if we want to blow both of them up. We could use TNT for it, but I'll just use a bomb for simplicity's sake. There we go. We already got probably the best item. Whoa, never mind. I was going to say we already got probably the best item out of stone chest, but then we just picked up goat heads. So we got goat and cricket's head all on this very floor. And then our deal with the devil contains, uh, yeah, some pretty good stuff, I'd say. We'll definitely take mom's knife. Why don't we take um, Demon Baby as well? My thinking being, we can get back to full HP anyway. Might as well take advantage of it. Mom's Knife is going to compromise our range a little bit, but is like largely irrelevant, I think, based on the fact that our damage is just going to be disgusting. Um, and yeah, this is like really good. The, the choice came down to Demon Baby versus uh, My Shadow. I mean, I hope I don't take enough damage that My Shadow becomes the right option. Not that it's a bad choice, but it's just... Uh, to me, it seems somewhat suboptimal compared to the other one. So we're going to be out of here with about a minute and a half, two minutes to spare. I'm for that. I think that's a positive situation for us. We have no, no need at all for Broken Ankh. Uh, I don't expect Petrified Poop to be that good for us, but... Certainly, I would expect it to probably be better than Broken Ankh. Let's uh, buy a key. We know the pill. We might as well check. One makes you larger. 
not the worst pill in the world, but certainly not worth the money we paid for it. And we'll head down to the next floor feeling uh, really, really good about this daily so far. I mean, there's no way we die. Let's put it that way. It's unconceivable that we don't make it to the cathedral uh, if we don't do self-sacrifice rooms. If we try to do self-sacrifice rooms, the chance of death does go up, but that's life. Curse rooms just everywhere, man. Uh, a demon judgment is very tempting, but I can't remember if a demon judgment amps up your damage penalty, but it's just not worth the... It's not worth the risk at this point to pick up, like, just ceremonial robes or something. Which is, not, I don't mean it like, just ceremonial robes. You know, it's pretty good. We could also get speedball or something, uh, any syringe that could uh, help us contribute to spun. But without any HP that, you know, is easily regenerated, it seems ill-advised to me. Well, that was a great uh, opportunity for a world card right there. Saved us from using a key when we could use a bomb instead. 45 cents is good. Virgo is pretty solid. Um, the exploration bonus can be one of the big things that separates uh, a great score from a, a truly amazing score. A score that can rank in like the top 100 on Greed Bud. And those are all good players. So, you know, that's nothing to sneeze at. Uh, an exploration bonus is one of those things. So, Fate's Reward is also pretty flippin' sweet. Oh, are you kidding me? One makes you larger, I think, made all the difference on that one. Um, neither of these are worth it, sadly. Neither of the big items, at least. So we're just going to take the key and move along. I really think taking one hit per floor is going to keep us out of the, the very, very upper echelon here. So we got to be a little bit better there. Um, bomb for a nickel. Might be worth it from a point standpoint, but from a consumable standpoint, not at all. Man, are you seeing the size of the tears from Fate's Reward? That's hilarious. All right. We knew a Krampus fight would have to happen eventually. It is Lump of Coal, which is at least takeable. We have 50 cents, and, you know, that floor took us all of, like, 45 seconds, so I think we'd get our move on here. Would be nice to get a second secret room, if possible, as well, but not, uh, not I, at the end of the world if it happens or it doesn't happen. We will do boss trap room, though, because, again, free points. We will not do the self-sacrifice room. It's way too early. Uh, Europa, again, the one of the people behind, uh, the excellent greed butt resource, uh, has, has told me many a time... The value proposition for self-sacrifice rooms when it's appropriate, when it's when it's not in your best interest. And it, uh, it, it becomes complicated. Which is to say that I've read the tweets, but I haven't really internalized what was said within them. Um, I, uh, I believe that if you're going to the cathedral, you shouldn't pop... Or shoal, it counts for shoal as well. You shouldn't try to go for a self-sacrifice room until you're on the floor. That was the way that I understood what I was being told. It may vary on a situational basis, but I, I'm not aware. Um, that's Those are the words or the the uh, concepts I've chosen to live by. Picking up Bob's brain on a daily is probably a really poor decision, by the way, but I also like to live dangerously. It's not a very good Austin Powers impression. All right. Uh, well, we want to be out of this floor by 13 minutes. That seems extremely simple. Okay, no... Excellent cards there. What are we using the Algiz rune for? I feel like that could, with our damage, get us almost all the way through boss rush by itself. Or almost all the way through hush. But, um, actually, hush would probably be more shitty for us. So maybe we'll try to save the Algiz rune for that. But that comes with its own kind of set of positives and negatives. Not a secret room. Not a secret room. So we're really striking out on secret rooms today. You know, it's, it's unlikely to make too much of a difference, but, uh, it's always possible. Depths one, about two minutes ahead of schedule. It's a great position to be in. No bombs. No bombs. That's very unfortunate. Friends till the end is Dees. We knew that wasn't going to be explosive diarrhea. Um, we'll, we'll try to come back into that room, even though it's going to amp up our damage penalty. Maybe we'll try to come back into that room. I don't know. We'll see. We're, we're using more consumables than we're, than we're getting here. Maybe a poor luck stat is to be uh, blamed for that. But obviously that's like our first... Excuse me. That's our first key setup uh, up there is the item room. Just get Bob's brain to fire or at least be like off the screen, please. Thank you. Back to full HP. How does our score compare right now? I feel like we're in the running. You know, I feel like it's normally it's one of those things where people are pretty close together until you get into the late game. Um, I feel like we got a really good chance of, of being in there. It's a bomb at least. Two bombs. Go to our... Uh, curse room again. Uh, I'm not thrilled about the fact that it'll cause our damage penalty to amp up, but uh, is it the right decision on a daily? It, I mean, it, it could be the right decision or the wrong decision. Statistically, I don't know. I, I really don't, but 
I know we're probably gonna do it because I like stone chests. Although I have gotten like almost all of the the value out of stone chests that you would expect to get on one run for sure. That's probably our secret room. And could get a spirit heart out of it as well. Not that that's too relevant when we have full black hearts, but there is our secret room. Got some more bombs. Sadly, no keys. Keys just appear to not exist here. That's all right. What have we ever gotten from our item rooms that's been good anyway? I'm being sarcastic. A uh, stud finder. I don't need a stud finder. I'm already happily married. That joke doesn't really work. Uh, we will take blood clot, of course. And then in here... Yeah, I mean, Sack Dagger's an awesome item, and we're bas I mean, we're, we're losing points on picking it up, but then we're basically getting back to full HP immediately, so... Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that that I could see. Unless we wanted to spare, like, the literal 60 points. I'm not sure I want to open the... Uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, I'm not sure I want to open the... Uh, painful Chest, honestly. Here's what I do think I want to do. Let's go play this thing for a little bit. Play it down to 40 cents if necessary. Wait, we got a health upgrade there. That's that's enough for us to at least pick up a half red heart and then take Betrayal so we can get back to permanent Polaroid invincibility. Get, uh, there we go. There's our red heart. We're going to play this down to 40 cents. And the reason we're going to do so is so that I can uh, hopefully have a decent chance to get a key. And if we don't get one, we'll blow it up and then at least still try to get into our... Uh, Item room? Hey, we got a key. Alright, so instead of going to our item room, with this key we're going to go to the shop. I recognize there's a pretty good chance we do fight greed. Hey, it's the cost of doing business. No greed. so And no key, unfortunately. Get out of jail free card I don't think does anything for us. Even though, on the surface, you're going to be like, oh, you can fight Mega Satan. I don't believe you can fight Mega Satan with that. Um, buy that. So, unfortunately, we cannot go to our item room. That's fine. We got PhD instead. I think that's pretty good. We're going to be still two minutes ahead of schedule. And, uh, let's go pick up, uh, what is basically free betrayal. It's not a good item, but I'd much rather have the chance to have permanent Polaroid invincibility, especially with our damage as, as amazing as it is right now. Okay, so now I think it all becomes, I mean, like, we're gonna, we're gonna get the boss rush on this run, that's not even a contest. I think at this point, this one all becomes about um, not taking damage, which is not uncommon. I say that about a lot of runs, but definitely on this one, I'm, I'm feeling the burn there, and I'm feeling like we want to do everything in our power to make that happen. I will, it's, it's important to note, as I talked about earlier, probably starting on the womb, if we find a self-sacrifice room and we have 12 HP, which is obviously going to be pretty common for us, uh, or pretty likely at least, then we're going to... Uh, Probably even on the womb one play that self-sacrifice room and try to get the teleportation bonus the probably like I'm, I'm running the math in my head But my, the, my math when it comes to this is not very good and I'll, I'll admit that readily man the speed is out of control um, I'll admit that readily you do get 10,000 points or something for teleporting uh, And then you get to do the exploration on the final floor and you get the value of being one floor deeper when you finish the game uh, it, It's a hefty point bonus. However, you also get a hefty point loss for your self-sacrifice room stuff so uh if, if we could get like a perks or something i think that would lower the penalty but it's possible that on the womb one it makes more sense to go to hush forgo the um advantage that you would get from the teleport uh, teleportation and and handle things that way but i i you know i just don't know unfortunately so I, I'm going to play with my best guess, and my best guess here is kind of like going for broke. Kind of the philosophy that it always makes sense to be one floor further in if you have the opportunity to be uh, to, to make it happen at least. Uh, obviously we're doing amazingly on time here. Still horribly on keys. Kind of amazing. We got one key on the last two full floors. Hey, there we go. Let's check out our item room this time. We get Thunder Thighs, which I don't think is worth it, although we will have a guaranteed deal with the devil. It does give us a stomp in power. I'll tell you what, we'll take it in the hopes of getting something useful here. We need to go back for our Algiz rune, obviously. Inside of our arcade. Well, at least Gamble and these guys try to get a key. I would prefer to get it early so we can get to our shop, but uh, I'll be content either way. There's our key. Okay, beautiful. 
still have enough money to justify this as well. And inside of here, we get the Steam sale. That's just perfect, isn't it? I think we'll buy our other key just to keep ourselves uh, in the money here. Time will tell with Thunder Thighs, but we're still not slow after picking up Thunder Thighs. We're just not that fast. Okay, that worked out for us. Uh, we didn't find our secret room. We might as well look. Again, we have so much time. I don't want to throw points away for no reason. Get six cents for a bomb in here, but we do get the exploration bonus for the secret room. You forgot your Algas rune, buddy. There we go. Thanks, present Northern Lion. That helps out a lot. I could have easily forgotten about that one. Let's not open the other golden chest. Oh, wait, but it's on a mob trap room, right? So we'll get a lot of exploration points if we do this. Probably enough to offset our time penalty, at least. Yeah, we might as well. Obviously, we were hoping to start the chain there, Fleetwood Mac style, but it didn't work out for us. Um, maybe we'll get a key when we finish. Nope. We get a tower card, which is basically worthless. Okay. Well, time to go then, I'd say. If we find a crawl space or a black market, we'll consider it, of course. But for now, I'm mostly just happy that we will lose... <laughs> every time, man. We'll lose Polaroid permanent... Or permanent Polaroid invincibility temporarily here. But uh, we should be able to trade it back on a deal with the devil pretty soon. Based on the fact that uh, we have Goathead and we've already fought Krampus. So let's take the Polaroid. Deal with the Devil gives us the Mark and uh, Spirit of the Night. Certainly we want the Mark here. Spirit of the Night doesn't really do anything for us at this point that we haven't done for ourselves. Pisces, Dead Bird... Common Cold Robo Baby 2.0. I think we take Pisces for the tears up, but it's not an incredible haul. Actually, you know what? We probably take Common Cold for some poison damage. Let's do that. And we're gonna be wrecking enemies early here. So I think we there's every reason to not use our Algiz rune. I think it it is to our benefit to save the Algiz rune for the uh, the hush fight if we can do so. I mean, we're just absolutely tearing face right now. We're already almost a quarter of the way through. Um, because every single enemy that we fight only requires one hit. Was Common Cold the right choice? I, I genuinely think it was. You know, I, I thought about it for more than zero time. And uh, that that proved to be my uh, my analysis towards the end, at least. It's like a polycephalus here. Well, I don't think there's any question that we'll be able to get to Boss Rush easily. Um, this is an extremely high damage run. I almost feel like the seam that some people might get stuck on is is the seam that we didn't even think twice about, and that's taking Mom's knife over just sticking with the brimstone laser. Um, that decision has paid dividends, but I guess it's not apparent immediately that it's the right decision. Because you're already like, whoa, we have this like high range brimstone, why would I take Mom's knife? But to me, it seems like it's, it's helped us out in an extraordinary degree. You know, our Azazel laser, as powerful as it would be, would not be tearing through enemies at the same speed that we're doing so right now, I think. And, you know, like, we haven't even really been at risk on this boss rush fight until now when I stupidly walked into the fistula and got hit by, like, four different parts simultaneously. Oh, the frail. You got no chance, man. Why'd you do it? And we got Virgo invincibility there, I just noticed. So we actually had a lot more invincibility than I originally thought. Come on, Bob's brain. You got to, just had to hit a target that's straight in front of you. That's embarrassing. Probably like three more waves? Never mind. Zero more waves. We get TNT, which is really bad. Um, but we're out of here by 20 minutes, which is amazing. So, if we find a self-sacrifice room at this point, we would like to take advantage of it. I think. That's... I mean, this is going to have catastrophic implications. This is a very strange room. Um, this is going to have catastrophic implications for the run one way or the other. And I mean that sincerely. This will probably determine, um, you know, who's in the top, like, 5% and who's outside of the top 5%. If we don't find a self-sacrifice room, and thus can operate under the assumption that one probably does not exist, or at least, like, you know, short of getting an AWAS rune, nobody's getting down one extra floor, and actually you can't even use the AWAS rune to get from uh, the cathedral to the dark room, or the cathedral to the chest, so that's irrelevant. Um... Then I think we're set up amazingly, like very, very nicely at least. Incredible damage, 
Lots of lots of positives for us moving forward. I don't know why I took balls of steel there. Um, we'll we'll kill Hush, and we should kill Hush with much lower damage penalty than than the average person as a result of the Algiz rune that we've been holding for like the entire run. Um, I hope I didn't miss like an easy Awas rune or something like that. I, ah, that was bad damage, but uh, I'll, I'll beat myself up a little bit over that one. But I'm still holding 48 hour energy on the off chance that we come across a self sacrifice room. Because if we do, we're, we're really going to want to take advantage of that. Also, it basically gives us this deal with the devil for free, assuming that it's something we can actually take. Um, that was extremely easy. And in here we get... Uh, yeah, okay. Um, to be honest with you, we don't need Dark Bomb at all. It might benefit us, but we, we really don't need it. I should not have popped that the way that I did. But um, Fear Shot at least gives us extra damage, which I think is extremely nice. We'll go back for our Algiz rune and hopefully pick up some flipping keys here. I mean, if we go down to the Hush fight, I would really like to be able to take advantage of the fact that there's items down there. But I'm realizing that that's probably not too likely based on how the run has gone for us so far. Oh, it's so nice to... Ah, terrible damage. It's so nice to just not be worried about time at all. Like, we're just so set on time. Put a bomb down here. Of course, and did get a spirit heart out of it, which will get lost immediately, but at least it didn't, you know, cause us to lose the one that we didn't have. Nine lives. Ah, yeah, there we go. Okay. So with nine lives, we will definitely take Dark Bomb. We also get one step closer to actually completing the Guppy transformation, plus we have nine lives. So, uh, you know, all of these are very positive things. There's no reason not to take Dark Bomb now, because, well, I mean, there's this very, very small reason not to take Dark Bomb, and that's that we would, uh... Didn't even need to place a bomb there. Uh, that's that we would uh, get like minus 20 points or something like that for picking it up. Minus 50 maybe, but uh, it will put us back in permanent Polaroid invincibility, which is, you know, way more advisable. I can't help but feel that like 22,000 is like a really good score for where we're at on the daily right now. I mean, we just did that mom's heart run. Where did that end? That was like a 28,000 point run that went to mom's heart. We're going to be at like 26 by the time we get down to the next floor. Somewhere in that vicinity at least. Hey, we picked up some keys too. So we can, we're exempt from self-sacrifice room bullshit here. There's no self-sacrifice room on this floor. We looked. You know, there's nothing else we could have done. Let's uh, make our way to the next floor. So I really, really would like to see one on the next floor. I, the best case scenario for us is not seeing one until the cathedral. But definitely seeing one on the cathedral. But, um, you know, we, we don't really have control over that. So, uh, we'll, we'll just hope to find one on this floor, I guess, to probably give us a leg up on the competition. Utero 2. We will be exploring everything. Um, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure on Utero 1, we actually spend more time out of combat than in combat. Because our, like, whenever we get on a room, unless it's a room like this where the enemies are, like, semi-invincible, we're just going to be, you know, steamrolling them. This is pretty poor damage, by the way. I'll, I'll admit that readily. Still got this Algiz rune for the potentiality of the Hush fight. Or maybe, uh, you know, useful on the lamb or something like that. But let's be real. We're, we, if we get down to the dark room, we should be destroying the dark room. Like, this is, like, top, like, 2 percentile as far as damage goes. The only thing that inhibits us right now is that, you know, Mom's Knife, not even Azazel. Mom's Knife just has uh, inherently poor range most of the time. Yeah, okay, thank you for destroying. These guys spend, like, 20 minutes together in this room... Learn, feeling each other out, learning what, you know, their likes and dislikes are. And then we start the run, and or we, we walk into the room, and then they just immediately kill each other. It's like, you guys need some more training, in my opinion. Team building exercises, man. So let's go check our deal with the devil. It contains uh, the pact, which we effectively can take for free, because there's another spirit heart here. But also, we have a full uh, charge. We also got Leviathan out of that. I had no idea. There is also small rock right there. I did see that that was a tinted rock, but I had no idea whether or not it would contain small rock. So, um, again, Hush Fight bothers me not. I would love to see it. As long as we can also get to our self-sacrifice room on the next floor. But I do think that uh, as of right now, this has the potential to be like a top 2% run. I don't know if it's there, but it, I think it has the potential. 
If we find one extra seam, we can pull it out. I also feel like, hey, if you're watching this and you've been doing dailies, no matter how well you've been doing, pat yourself on the back a little bit because there was a period of like a couple of weeks, at least a couple of weeks, where it was very easy for me to rank extremely well. Even on runs where I felt like I kind of shit the bed, this feels like a secret room. Uh, even on runs where it felt like I kind of shit the bed, uh, it was just like, it just happened, you know? I'd be like, hey, I did pretty poorly on this run. Hey, we're top, you know, 1%. We're, we're in the top 100 on greed butts somehow. I guess everybody sucked uh, almost as badly as I did, or sometimes even more. But the competition really seems to have heated up lately. So, you know, if you're if you're watching these and you're, you're playing well, or even if you're not playing well, congratulations, because I really feel like... Um, the, the level of competition has gotten a lot higher in the Isaac dailies recently, and that's really cool. I'm glad that there's a, a little bit more competition, because for a while I was, I was starting to get a big head. Like, yeah, you're going to insult my Isaac play? I'm top 1% on the dailies consistently, motherfucker. I'm above criticism. I never really took it that far, but you you can draw the, the logical reality of that out of the uh, absurdist situation that I presented to you, right? There is a self-sacrifice room. I think we have to go for it, to be honest with you. So we will, uh, and I, I think this is the right decision, but we will find out pretty clearly when we see what our rank is. So maybe this is good, maybe this is bad. Doesn't really bother me either way. We're gonna we're gonna find out. So it's like four plays. We uh, to be honest with you, we don't even really need to um, keep track of our HP that well or the number of plays that we've had because there's you know spirit hearts available on this floor. Don't have to worry about that too too much. Good chance to become Guppy on the next floor as well. Okay, so we probably got like one... Oh, that was free play, which is nice. Probably got one more play and then an Angel Statue. Yeah, it's usually the one after the bombs. There you go. So do keep in mind that I've thrown away like 2,000 points. Um, I really wish that was Spirit Arts instead of coins, but I've thrown away at least like 1,500 points for the damage, uh, immediate damage penalty here. And then we're going to throw away more... Um, we might as well use our keys right now, sure. Uh, and then we're gonna throw away more, uh, at the end of the run, because that's how the damage penalty is calculated, if I remember correctly, but I still think that this is the right decision, and, uh, to be honest with you, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough to persuade me to think that it's not. I think we've, uh, you know, we've got enough HP to survive here, we got our algae's room for the future. Like, I feel like this is, this is the way to do this run, and we'll see when we finish. I do think that it will be easy for a lot of people to have a lot of HP. Like, I don't think that's going to be a contest at all. It's also possible that I'm the world's biggest idiot, and there actually is a self-sacrifice room on the cathedral, but this is where you, you know, you... Wow, that's surprising, but this is where you take that gamble. This is where you say, you know, are we going to... Are we going to wait for that and have, like, the 50% chance to get the self-sacrifice room there, get the hush benefit, and then get it, or are we just going to... Oh, my Lord. Are we just going to go for it here? And I think we're just going to go for it. I got to play it twice more? Are you kidding me? At least that's, that's balls of steel taken care of there. Can someone explain to me why I'm not teleporting down to the dark room? There we go. Took three more plays. Wow. But what I mean to say is that I do think it will be easy for um, for a lot of people to have enough HP to, to justify doing what we did there. I will use 48 hour energy here just to just to keep us safe. We should have no problems getting the maximum exploration bonus here. Our score is going to be pretty solid. I find, oh, no, 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 <laughs> not on a daily. I find it hilarious that we also managed to keep this Algis rune the entire time. Like, this was literally from the first room we walked into. That's really funny. Um, and I guess, uh, in hindsight, probably boss rush was the right place to use it, but we only got hit once on boss rush, so we'll, we'll save it for probably the lamb fight and just see how that goes. We got basically the same number of points for teleporting here that we would get for fighting Hush, so... I still don't know if that makes this the right decision or the wrong decision, but at least, you know, we're not completely out of our minds with the with the decision we made here. It's really just been like a nice, smooth, like easy daily right now. We have 32,000 points. We'll pop Algias just to make sure we don't leave without having used it, because like that would just be leaving points on the table for no reason. Uh, the, uh, the lamb is dead already. We're going to do some more exploration. feel like we could probably throw down like a 30, 35,000 point run here. Once you factor in exploration and, you know, 
Like anything else that gets factored in that I'm not completely aware of. But even if we rank... Like, I, there's no way, in my opinion, at least from looking at the run right now, that we rank outside of the top 1,000. We just didn't leave enough opportunities available um, for people to get that many extra points on us. So I, I wouldn't... Oh, that, was, that was poor damage, of course, but... I wouldn't be surprised to see us top 500. I wouldn't be surprised to see us top 100. I oftentimes... Ooh, okay, well, you know, I mean... I guess... For fun, we'll just become guppy here. Again, we, we lost like 50 points, but maybe it'll give us enough time bonus from clearing these extra rooms. Either way, it's just like swag bonus, right? Um, oh, thank you. Uh, I Like, I, once we get down into these runs where like everything has gone well from the very beginning, I find it very difficult to figure out like, oh my god, fucking Polyphemus too. I find it very difficult to figure out where we're going to rank. Like, I have no idea if we're, if we're going to be in the top 1% or if we're going to be in the top 4%. But we're going to be up there is what I'm trying to say. At least I think we have every available ability to be up there. We've gotten like a 2,000 point bonus just for exploration on this floor, which makes me feel good because, I mean, that is... Again, like, a, a third, almost, of what you get from the Hush Fight. Many of those Hush Fighters won't be, uh... Shouldn't have picked that up. Many of those Hush Fighters won't be picking up, uh... The exploration bonus that we're picking up right here, I'll tell you that much for sure. We might be able to win this run with just Fate's Reward. Right now. That's, that's a new era. And we got our Sticky Bombs. Okay. What do you think? Not a secret room. Secret room. More exploration for us. Very minute, but still. Should pop that. Might get extra points. He's coming. Get ready. There we go. And one more spirit heart, maybe. Yep, there's another 20-something points. Okay. So that's going to do it for this run. We should be in the 36, 37, 38,000 range. Uh, I think that we are... Primed for a pretty good score today, but I could be wrong. Because, again, that hush fight gives you such potentiality. Uh, I should have let Dark Bum try to pick up some more. We're in 2068th? Fuck! <laughs> there must be a, uh... There must be a self-sacrifice room on the cathedral. And you know what? I feel like an idiot for talking up how well we were going to do there. But I just realized that probably uh, I should have looked at a loose score. I mean, like 44,000. Okay, that seems like a run where you go to the cathedral and then get a self-sacrifice room. That is actually, like, it's left the sourest taste in my mouth that a daily ever has. Because we played so well and yet still ranked so poorly. So I apologize for building it up like we were doing amazingly there. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. It was a very pleasant run, at least. Uh, and, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.